Hi, this is Bennett Tomlin with Scientific Nutrition, and today we're going to make mushroom risotto. I'm going to be using several of the techniques used by Kenji from Serious Eats, so please go check out his recipes to make sure you understand them. To start, we're going to put a cup and a half of risotto-style rice, like in our barrio, in this bowl right here. To this, we're going to add four cups of low-sodium chicken stock. Now we're adding the stock right now in order to try to get some of the starch molecules off of the rice. Now the reason we're doing this is that we'll be able to toast it to get a nice complex nutty flavor. We'll still add the starch back in with the stock to make it much creamier. So here we go, we're adding in the four cups of low sodium stock. Yeah. We can do anything, we can do anything. We can do anything Girl, I know you can't resist the light You could be the one to really change my We're just going to give this a little stir Try to get some, knock some of those starch molecules off the rice So we can make sure this is a nice and creamy risotto later That's going to be important And we're going to let that sit for about 5 minutes While we're letting it sit, we're going to cut up our onion and rinse and cut off our mushrooms. Now don't worry about rinsing the mushrooms. I know some people say it makes them moist and harder to brown. Doesn't apply. Alton Brown tested already. And please ignore my horrible knife skills here. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Sorry guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to strain that out. Just use a fine mesh strainer. So the stock goes through and the rice just sits in there. Then we're going to get our pan nice and hot. Once our pan is hot, we're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. Some people tell you using both raises the smoke point. Ignore them. They have no idea what they're talking about. But we're just doing it to get a little bit more complexity, a little bit more depth of flavor, a little bit more variety. So two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil. Let them combine. I guess i got a plan now. So we're both melted and combined. We're gonna add in our onions and our mushrooms. Now, it's said in the recipe to use a pound and a half of mushrooms, but looking at it in the skillet, it's too much in my opinion. It's gonna take forever for them to brown. They're gonna end up steaming more because they're so crowded. So I'm gonna actually recommend you guys use about a pound of mushrooms instead of a pound and a half. Try half an onion instead of a whole onion. I think the best will turn out better that way. Once we have those in there, what we're going to do is we're going to stir it up, coat them all in that nice fat mixture, and we're going to hit it with a nice large pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. The salt helps bring the moisture out so they brown better and is obviously important for flavor. And putting the pepper in now just helps us get a little bit better flavor development. So we want to salt from up high to get a nice, even salt distribution. And here we go. Lots and lots of black pepper. Another day, I need some help, so understand this ain't a damn game. Come any closer, you better believe that I'm out of my mind to be chasing this dream, but I can't. Now just stir it up and let those brown. You're gonna see their volume change throughout this as they cook down. That's good, we wanna see that. I put a foot down on the fucking throat of what I'm scared of I've had enough Thinking that I gotta be what everybody else is Stuck in a trap but I'm making my way out Working every night I know I'm never gonna fade out Can't stop I'll get better Throw my thoughts Tell me otherwise Get the help I need No, I ain't about to compromise 9 to 5, I'm a grind No other option, man I'm looking all around me Thought about ending myself That's the real me Trying to connect in this world Don't you feel me? I fuck the money I just want some money Was feeling lost To hear my words Get back up when the Knock you down, it ain't over yet, it's all reverse. Now once they get nice and brown, what we're gonna see us do is we're gonna grab the risotto over here that's now nice and dry and put it in there. What we're gonna wanna do is leave it in there until it gets kind of toasty, kind of nutty, but we don't wanna see it start browning and scalding. But we do just want that little bit of extra flavor development to make the risotto better at the end. Okay, I'm better off with you getting up my fucking will. I know there's more, so 
I guess I'll try another day. I need some help, so understand this ain't a damn game. Okay, what we're gonna do is now is we're gonna deglaze the pan with about a cup of dry white wine. I used a Chardonnay here. Cheap wines are perfectly okay for cooking, don't worry about that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour the cup of wine in, and you're gonna try to scrape up the bottom, get the fun, all those delicious little caramelized bits that are stuck to the bottom, into the um, risotto. Then we're gonna let the wine reduce by about three quarters. Yeah, you wanna be everything he says he likes. Once that's reduced, we're gonna add in about three out of the four cups of our stock back in here. Then bring it back up to a simmer. Okay, save the last cup for later. And even then they'll never ever be content because they addicted to the pain inside. So let your heart do the work, it knows what your mind don't. You're constantly worrying about where the fucking time goes. You wake up certain days, you cannot motivate yourself to get up. Okay, once it comes to a simmer, turn your heat down and cover the skillet. I literally cover the skillet here with just a baking sheet, so use whatever you have. Then you're just gonna leave it for 10 minutes, let the rice start to cook and to absorb that stock. While we're letting that rice absorb, we're gonna whip up some cream. We're gonna later add this whipped cream into the risotto to give it some extra creaminess, okay? So it's right here in Kenji's recipe, he uses three quarters cup cream whipped to stiff peaks. To my palate, this was a little bit much. I would start with half a cup and adjust the taste from there. All we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here, and I just whipped it with a cheap immersion blender with a whisk attachment at the end. Go until you get to see the nice peaks in the cream. It's a nice stiff peak. You'll be looking in the mirror, only looking for a flaw. Never thought you'd be the one to fall down. Less to understand that it was never your fault. He just really wasn't a man. Now you walk and talk, walk and say you want it all. She was never part of the plan. Don't hold back the passion. Gotta let go of the bad days. You're capable of more than you ever imagined. Be grateful for the next day. Kinda goes in the direction of a lesson that I really hope you know. You should never say you're sorry for the things you can't control. But learning to love yourself, now that's the goal. Okay, now that our 10 minutes are up, we're gonna take the lid off, we're gonna shake the pan to redistribute the rice, and then stir it. Now, right here, I screwed up. This is my first time making risotto, I'm sorry guys. In the recipe, you're supposed to recover it and let it cook for another 10 minutes before you add the last cup of rice. I screw up. I add the stock now, don't do this, but it still turned out okay. So what, I'm, what I do here is I add the extra cup of stock, I recover it and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, and right here what I'm doing is I'm turning the oven on very low and I'm gonna put some plates in there to warm the plates up because you want a nice warm plate for risotto so that your risotto when you put it on the plate stays nice and saucy it doesn't get thick and stodgy so cooked it for 10 more minutes there now what you do is you take the lid off turn the heat up and let it simmer until it reduces to the right consistency then add in your whipped cream and then your about four ounces of um, parmesan and then you're done that's all there is to it so Make sure you check out Kenji's recipes on Serious Eats. They're fantastic. He tests everything. Really great work. Check out my other videos on this channel. Check out my other cooking videos. Send me any questions you got. And I hope to have a much better version of this where I don't mess up a couple times during it for you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you all very much. If you liked any of the music in this video, please check out Jake Hollendorf. It's on Apple Music, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Got the links down below for you. Thank you guys very much. It's more than a dream that you're gonna keep replaying. Fuck Instagram, I mean, what's it gonna prove in all those lies? No drugs for me, I'm feeling like the night is a waste of my time. But I really think I need some diagnosed OCD I'm always tweaking, making it hard for myself to even reason Why I feel alone when I go out on the weekend I don't wanna hear about some drama that you in How you fake
second when you're talking to me, asking how I've been. I would never be a second option. Mess me with that bullshit, got no time for this. So I take a look around, different people in the crowd. Some just try to hide their frowns, all they really feel is doubt. Broken down, they wear facades, they don't want no one to see that they're different in the dark.